Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Roku indoor camera SE and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now you're going to want to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. If your camera is not connecting to Wi-Fi or if it's not syncing or pairing with your devices or if it's otherwise not working, not detected and on the network and stuff like that, um, a hard reset can fix a lot of these issues. Now the second reason you're going to want to do this is if you're setting this up at a new home or something like that and you just want to get a fresh start like it's just coming out of the box, um, we can go ahead and do that and restore it to its factory out of the box defaults with everything wiped off of it. Now if you have an SD card in here, you're going to want to take it out because um, you don't want anything to happen to it while the reset is happening. So what you want to do is make sure that your camera is plugged in and, um, and on. And what you're going to do is you're going to come underneath. Underneath you will see the little setup button. Um, you may need to remove the mount plate on the bottom of it to access the setup button. And what you're going to do is you're just going to press and hold the setup button for 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, you can let go and then just wait at least 30 seconds for your camera to restart and you'll know that it's been successful. You want to keep an eye on this indicator light right here um, and you'll see this indicator light flashing red um, indicating that there has been a successful reset and then you can go ahead and set the camera up as a new camera.